with it. So I'm going to go ahead and click into this issue. And I, I have the some configuration here that lets me see who, who might own this. But I'd like to link this JIRA issue uh, and create a ticket and say, hey, somebody go take action on this. Come, somebody go do something with this. And so uh, let's, let's unlink this issue. And we will, I, I can go in here and I will get the create issue dialog, but oh man, there's a form, a big form that I have to fill out. And th that would be okay if I was dealing with like one or two issues every, you know, along the way. But if in, in projects, it's not unusual, especially like monolith projects to see, you know, dozens. And if I have to fit, fill out dozens of these uh, forms, I'm going to lose my mind, right? Um, you know, I, I could do assignees and, and sign this to my uh, colleague that, that's responsible, can make the, the uh, can choose a reporter. But I got to believe that there's something that I can do that's better for this. And so uh, we, we have introduced a new idea that, around alerts that allow me to create, that automate the creation of these JIRA tickets. So I will, I will find, first find a project. And let's go to R to R dash. So let's let's take this express one, and I, I'll go into the issue alerts, and I'm going to decide that hey, you know, when when the new issue is created, when any issue is created, and let's say that I have, I want to make sure that the environment is in production. So I might come in here and say, hey, when this is equal to production. And let's, let's say that I, I really care about, that this is a backend API, so I really care about when this uh, is affected by, um, affected by my, a certain transaction. So I can come in and, and say, hey, when, when the message contains account, then what, what do I want to do? Um, I have a number of actions. But now a new action that I have is I can create a Jira issue. I could also create an Azure DevOps um, work item as well from, from here. So I'm not exclusively uh, tied to Jira. So now I want to create a Jira with these issue like link settings. Okay, so here's that form, but oh great, the good news is I don't have to fill this out every time something like this happens. I can automate the creation of these things. I can set the priority as you know, maybe this is the highest priority. I can determine who the assignee is. And you know, when it says no options, you know, feel free to type and you'll see some options within, within here. And I can fill that in. And now once I've created that, that issue alert, I, I now have confidence that my issue are going to be, um, issue comes in, it's going to uh, show up in my review list as, as a new new issue, or as I, I let's say I do choose a regression, so the issue changes state from resolved to uninstalled. So regression happened. I, I know that it happened in this environment with this particular area, and my an issue is created in Jira, and I, and it's present present in my issues list for review. And now my life is is much easier. So. That that is you know that that's the value of of some of these optimizations that Sentry is making within workflow, is being able to go from from um, ha having an issue be reported to having it no know, knowing that it is there's a plan in place for for doing that. Sentry.